Today I'm going to talk about what to put inside your van to get you through a job through any day. Uh, so here we go. So inside the van, currently it's pretty empty. Um, I usually keep an extra 25 gallon propane tank. Uh, usually I usually have four in here, so in case I run low on the other three, I have some backup. Um, I also keep lots of ducting. So ducting is kind of the key way to get heat throughout any home. Without the ducting, you're kind of just pumping heat into one centralized area, and then you have to rely on the fans heavily to get the other places heated up. So make sure you have lots of 25, 18-inch Mylar ducting. That's mainly what we use. Also, I have some other smaller piece of Mylar ducting that I've used from other broken off pieces of duct. So that helps to get from like small rooms uh, or to just get to other fans in the general area. I also keep uh, foldable laundry baskets. A lot of times customers say they're gonna launder all their clothing, they're gonna get everything uh, clutter free as possible. And we walk into it a lot where there's just piles of clothes, the drawers are heavily packed. So this allows you to take out all the excess clothing, put it in the baskets, allow it for heat to penetrate, you know, all four, or technically five sides of the top um, of the clothing. Um, also, another big thing that we utilized uh, after learning the hard way is thermal insulation. So we use this stuff, which you can buy a roll of it on Amazon for about 150 bucks, so it comes 100 foot by four feet. This we place down on any floor and I mean any floor that is uh, laminate, if it's hardwood, vinyl especially. Vinyl almost always gets damaged, so always place that down uh, heavily when you can. The only thing we don't need to put it on is carpet and tile. So everything else, put it on there, protect it, just so there's no damage because we've damaged a few floors that we thought it would be safe, we thought it was really nice uh, hardwood, really nice high-end um, laminate, and you walk back into the heat treatment area after 20 minutes and you see a disaster. So invest in that, it'll save you thousands of dollars um, and lots of headaches uh, from having to wait for people to get quotes on repairs and just having your name kind of, you know, drug through the dirt if you don't properly protect their items. Also, I use it on, I should say, pianos, uh, grandfather clocks, um, places that you, you there are items that customers are worried may get damaged that are not bed bug infested. You can put that around there. So this is another key thing. Um, I keep an extra, one of the Versapro uh, Convectex heaters. This can do like 900 square feet if you had full power to it, which is almost impossible everywhere we go. They almost never have the full power capability. It's got uh, four prongs for the 110, and then it also has two outlets for the uh, 220. So we use this a lot. Say we do a 3,000 square foot house, they find a bed bug a month later in uh, one of the bedrooms, you know, that maybe had a heavy infestation, the bugs could be in the walls or wherever it is. Instead of having to go back and heat up the whole place, we just go sit this heater up in that room, and it cooks everything. So if they got a lot of clutter or whatever it may be, it works really, really, really well. Uh, usually following up with the heater is like ideal. Uh, saves a lot of headaches. So uh, definitely something worthwhile to invest in. This came as a package with uh, this. I think maybe two fans and all the cords. It was like 3,500 um, bucks from Sunny at Convec Tech. So definitely worthwhile to invest in sometime down the road, if not right away. The Green Tech fans, we rarely use these now just because how much power they pull. It's like 3. Point, it's just like 3.2 amps on the slow speed and 3.6 amps on high speed. Where we use the Convectex, the K&J standard blue fans that have only 1.8 amps uh, of power being drawn. So we can use almost two of these blue fans in comparison to one of the yellows and get heat moved around more efficiently. So that's a little bit of the van. Uh, step ladder used for covering like sprinklers or taking down a customer's blinds if they forgot to take them down or they couldn't take them down. And by blinds, I mean vinyl. Uh, wood blinds are okay. It's the wood faux and the vinyl blinds you have to worry about uh, getting damaged. Always have a lot of elect extra electric cords. You never know where you're gonna need power, uh, what the customer situation is. So always bring extra power cords. Uh, the milk crates that are folded up, we've actually used a lot for people who have very funky 
bed setups. So situations where you can't necessarily TP a bed uh, or you can't move the bed anywhere else. We'll put some milk crates under there, giving it some support so that heat can go in between like the mattress, the box spring or the bed frame itself. So uh, just an idea. Uh, the chemicals laid out right now. Uh, this is just a drill. That way, same thing if customers leave stuff behind or you need to take apart a bed frame, you have something to do so. Uh, the chemical cabinet, mainly where all the rest of the chemical and other miscellaneous things are at. So, uh, sprinkler covers, these are just literally standard faucet covers. Uh, super cheap, make sure you use lots of ice with them and check them frequently. We typically put a sensor in a few of them to make sure that there's no issue of uh, possibly setting off a sprinkler. So that, uh, we carry a spare propane, uh, a propane uh, regulator. So in case the other one fails, damages, gets broken, whatever, we're not stuck having to cancel the job. We just hook this one up and we continue onward. So that, a duster, of course, you know, the chemical side of things. You don't have to do chemical if you're doing heat, but it's highly recommended, especially when bugs are migrating and whatnot. So like 99% of our jobs, people say yes to the chemical. We don't charge any additional. It comes with the heat service. Uh, blankets, same thing, used for covering like pianos and other heat sensitive items. Also, we use it for doorways. So it helps to keep uh, back pressure inside the home. That way it, uh, it allows heat to escape other places. So say we have a window open in the back bedroom, instead of all the heat being pushed back out of this front doorway, it'll push out through there, allowing it to push the cool air out of the room as well. So there's that, uh, the B&G, an extra 50 foot hose, which is used for the sleep tight. Um, some more sprinkler covers from Green Tech. Those are really, really, really good. They actually, uh, I almost never melt the ice inside there all the way whenever I use them. Um, well, that's the 50 foot hose. That's my standard hose. We have the other van being used today. And I carry an extra sprayer, which is usually got either Tempered or Suspend Polyzone in it. That is used for people that might have uh, not just bed bugs, they might have mites. So we may utilize different materials to, uh, to make sure their, their situation is resolved, which ideally is the bites, you know. Um, we always tell people we treat for bed bugs only, but if you have mites, you know, we can use this spray uh, as well. So that's kind of the rundown of the van. There's not much else. The stuff you don't see in here is going to be the 20 blue fans from the Vectex, uh, as well as the extra propane tanks, and then, of course, the Green Tech heater. Otherwise, oh, we actually have a splitter inside. So there's a, a metal splitter that helps. It does what exactly I said. It splits the air so a uh, duct goes in and then two ducts come out to where you can move the air from different parts of the home uh, with ease. So yeah, that's the inside of the van. Let me know if you guys have any questions or comments, uh, things that I can improve because I've only been doing this for less than two years. So uh, yeah, comment below. Thanks.